Hey y'all, Danny Moon here. Y'all call me what you want as long as it's respectful. Um, this is for my full moon in Cancer. Let's pray that I'm correct. I'm not an astrologer, but it is for the full moon, okay? Um, I know it was yesterday, but we still got, you know, three days before, three days after. So, we got into the 29th, and probably a little bit after that, the way the energies linger, okay? I did a meditation on y'all. I did a 20-minute meditation on the collective, and I got so many different things. I mean, I opened up the realm so that it of love and light. So if anybody wanted to come through and give messages, spirit will allow them to. Um, so all so you got to listen to the end. That's all I can say. Well, you guys listen to the end. I picked out a couple of different decks that I haven't played with in a long time. So. This is going to be a long video, prob I'm a, probably 50 minutes, so um, I'll try to make it shorter, but it is what it is. Um, the first name that I got was Carla, with a K, Carla. Um, what other names did I get? I got the, okay, I don't know about names, it'll come back to me, Spirit, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for all of you being here. Archangel Michael, I ask you to protect this reading, protect the watchers, protect me. Um, and please, please, spirit gods, come in closer so I can hear accurate messages from y'all. In Jesus' name, amen. So more to be, so more to be, so more to be. Um, I did get like um, a deceased father. And I feel like he was saying... I'm with Nana. And I feel like he also was saying, I'm sorry because I wasn't the father I was should have been. Something like that. He also gave me the name like either Hector or Heck. I'm like, I'm with Heck. Something like that. Um... Now they're giving me that song. Remember that old school? It, I don't know. It, it, I don't know what to tell you. Like, if you're young, I don't know if you're going to... Believe it or not, I'm walking on air and never thought I could be so free. Dun, 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 on a wing and a prayer, who could it be? Believe it or not, it's just me. <laughs> it was a show. It was a show about this superhero. I think he was like a white guy with curly hair but that was my show when i was younger and i'm i have not thought about that so i know spirit is giving me that you know what i'm saying so if you resonate with that if you know if you used to watch that with your dad if you know of that show then just listen to the end because maybe some of these messages are for you and what i asked spirit was can you please give me whatever the collective is going through now and give me advice for them for now and through 2024. Um, oh, what did they give me? Ugh. Was it complicate? I don't know if it was complications or complicate. I really should have wrote this stuff down, but when I, I was in a zone, I was in a zone. I couldn't stop. I felt like if I broke the meditation, I wasn't going to get the downloads. Um, but they was, it, it was like the universe opened up in like a V to me. And then I saw all of like, you know, when a computer downloads all the numbers, that's what I saw. And I, I normally see that a lot. That is how I know I'm getting some downloads. Um, they're showing me a horse right now, like a horse running in the pasture, a brown horse. And you know, in tarot, and this is not for all tarotists, for me, a horse means action, like taking action. Another message they gave me was don't give up, nine of wands. You know, so when I do do the tarot, if the nine of wands come up, that'll just be a confirmation. But it's, they're, they're saying persevere, push through, keep going. And they said, um, Spirit said, 
Trust in yourself because source lies within you. So trust yourself because you're really trusting source. And then they said something about um, uh, something. Give the universe what the universe gives you. So, like I tell people about the universe, the, the God and, and source and deceased loved ones over here. The universe is over here. And the universe gives you what you give it. So, spirit is trying to say, give it positivity. Um, don't let these this moon energy get you into anything emotional, too emotional. Um, especially if it's, if it's a full moon in Cancer. You know, Cancer, sorry, but y'all are emotional, passionate, <laughs> uh, you know. And I don't mean that in any harm, you know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. Sometimes y'all lie in your emotions and y'all can stay there, you know what I'm saying? So Spirit is saying, don't let the energies overtake you. 2024 is going to be, and I said this in another video it was before the Gemini video that I said 2024 is going to be a, a, a whole year of a whole year of healing. Now, don't get me wrong, there will be action taken, there will be new jobs, there will be new careers, there'll be new positions, there there will be um um new money, um I, like I always tell you, I don't feel no millionaires in the room, but it could be. You never know. Do a scratch off. You never know, okay? Um, but I, I am feeling newness come in, but I think that's going to take place as you start to heal. Um, what else? This deck is, and I, I don't even know if I used this deck before, the Charmin's Dream Oracle. Oh, that's another thing they told me that 2024, when I say y'all, I am talking to the collective, the people who use their gifts or people who have these gifts, who use their intuition, who move in, who moves in spirituality. Just put it like that. Because I don't want to limit it to nobody. So they said in 2024, there, there will be a lot of, dreams happening that you're not going to understand of the new earth it's going to be they're going to be showing you like the new earth and for some of you who are seers y'all will see i don't want to say am i correct about that am i correct let me hear before i say that i need to know if i'm correct is that a question Let me see if I'm correct about that. The people who are seers. Am I hearing that correct? I just need one card. Okay. And look, I get the ace of swords. And that's the truth. That is communication. That's a breakthrough. Um, so they were saying like the people who are seers will see like the devastation of the earth. And it will come in incrementals, incrementals, like you know what I'm saying. You'll see it through the war. You'll you'll see it through whatever you watch on TV, but you'll first see it in your third eye because y'all are seers, and it might make you nervous. Uh, y'all might have a sense of, ooh, I don't want this to be dreary, spirit. I don't want this to be a downer. <laughs> You might have a sense of knowing like when death is coming for someone. I'm just giving, please don't shoot the messenger, okay? Um, so 2024 might be a little intense for like my metaphysical babies, my seers, my astrologers, my people who use their gifts, you know, and my intuition people, you know. And I'm not leaving nobody out. I just, I have a lot of subscribers who just support me because they support me. You know what I'm saying? Um, they're sh right now, they're showing me tarot. Maybe they're saying, like, hurry up and get to the tarot. I don't know what they're saying. Um, if I think of anything else they said in the meditation, oh, the, the numbers, they gave me numbers. They gave me six, eight, one, 
six, eight, one, two, and they gave me one more. And I want, oh, seven, six, eight, one, two, and seven. It's either seven or nine. Six, eight, one, two, seven, and nine. So I know that's a lot of numbers, but again, that's what, what I saw. <clears throat> Spirit, what do you want the collective to know out of here, please? They're telling me something about a sister. There could be a sister who passed, who is with you. Fortune's wheel, luck and right timing. I love that. I love that. So even if you're down right now, or if you feel things are not in your favor, luck is going to hit you. I'm telling you, luck is going to hit you, and it's going to be the right time to take action. So don't sleep on it, okay? You'll know it. You'll know it. But when you know it, you might get a little scared, or you might feel a little, you, you might doubt yourself, and Spirit is saying, don't do it. That would be timing. That would be the right time, okay? Okay. Um, closing door, completion. And I did get this in the meditation. Um, instead, they told me letting go or let go or something like that. I don't know why I'm feeling... And listen, I did tell y'all that I opened up the realm for only love and light, whoever's online and wants to give messages. But I'm getting the sense of loss, a lot of loss, you know what I mean? But I'm not getting, I don't feel like I'm getting that from the deceased. I feel like I'm getting that from whoever's going to watch. You know what I'm saying? Like right now, I ask the collective to give me accurate messages and I feel like I'm pulling on the energy of people who lost people. And so, you know, I, there's nothing that we can really do. Grief is grief, so you got to grieve in your own way. But... And there's nothing that me or spirit could say. You're going to have to get through it. And that is what the healing process is for. But what I can tell you is that meditation helped my grief. Let me fix this do-rag, y'all. Um, meditation fixed my, not didn't fix it, but meditation helped my grief. And the more I did it, the better the meditation was and the easier my grief was. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I would say start off with, um, trying to just meditate for five minutes. That's it. They always give me like some type of puppy or dog or something like that. Um, they also gave me the word nutrition. Like I was in a meditation and I was like a light body. I was just, saw my body over the stars, like in the, in the space and my my spiritual being left my body and they was pouring in like nutrition into my body. I don't know what that means to y'all. That could just mean it's time for you to get on a different regimen come 2024 and starting to work out and starting to eat right and starting to do the right things to nourish your body. Spirit, can I get, um, oh, and I didn't even tell you the numbers. This is a number 23 which is a five, is change. And this is a number five for change, closing door, completion. And five and five is 10, which is completion, 10 of swords, something's over. 2023 is over. Spirit, can I get two more, please, for the collective? I also got, what did I get? I got like, I saw bags, like, okay, I told you they opened up the realm, and I saw, like, download, computer downloads, right? But at first, it looked like little suitcases. It looked like shoes and bags. So, what I got is that, like, either somebody's doing, like, a, a cleanup, like a, like a, like a, um, you know how they say a spring clean, um, or you're cleaning out your refrigerator, cleaning out your closet, or you're cleaning out and cleaning up to bring in 2024 the correct way. And some people start as early as the 28th. You know what I mean? Because for the first, they want everything to be completely cleaned and um, 
you know, they want to start the new year fresh. I totally get that. On the other hand, I got like somebody was kicking somebody out or somebody needs to kick somebody out or somebody don't need to be in your energy come 2024. Those are the two messages that I got from that. Um, we got horned cactus. Resourcefulness. Horned cactus. Resourcefulness. Um, to me, I th th there's no book that came with this, so I'm going off of my intuition, and it is what it it is exactly what it is. Resourcefulness. You know what I mean? Um, it's almost like resilience. It's almost like pushing through. It's it's about being tough. You know what I mean? And getting through. You know what I mean? Finding whatever resources you need to get through to to your next step or to your to your next level. You know what I mean? Um, and what number is this? 29, 11, 11, 11. I love it. Using it. They're, they're giving me now like using your smarts to either get through your situation, using your smarts, using your mind, not using your logic instead of your emotions for whatever you get, forever you, whatever you're going through for some of you. Stars in the sky. No. Oh, yeah. Stars in the sky. Limitless limitless possibilities. Number 51, which is a six. I love it. Because we all have to know that we are not limited. We have source within us. We are not limited. We have possi limitless possibilities right in front of us. We just have to take the leap of faith. 2024, I need to see more action taken from the collective. You know, I need us... Us as just a, as a whole to push through the fear and push through the complications and push through the non finances or the lack or the these these energy beings that are around us walk away from them remove you we don't need source to remove people out of our lives if something ain't feeling right remove yourself easy peasy. You know, now don't get me wrong. I tell people, use your resources. That's what I tell people. Make sure you talk to a counselor, a pastor, a best friend, a mama. Do everything you can to save a friendship, a family ship, a spouse ship, whatever you need to do. But after you do what you can, and after you communicate, and after you listen, because there should be several conversations, then you need to remove yourself. Plain and simple. <clears throat> um, I'm getting like the name Sky. Somebody's name could be Sky. Two more, please. 18 minutes on the clock. Oh, well, you could give me. Yeah, I need two more. I'm sorry. Thank you. Um, this says, in the hand, the universe is your partner. In the hand, you have the you you have it. You don't have the universe in your hand, but you kind of do have the universe in your hand because the universe works as a boomerang. You give the universe, the universe gives it back to you. So you're working together. Six of Pentacles. Okay, the universe is in your hand. This is number thirty one, which is four 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 four. And a lot of you are still going through like symptoms of the ascension, headaches, and um. Um, just health, just uh, health issues. There, okay. Rewind. A lot of you are just going through regular health issues, but a lot of you, are, a lot of you are going through these symptoms, and you think like something's up with your health, and it could be. So always, I'm not a doctor. Always go to your doctor and do your testings and figure it out. But on the other hand, a lot of you are going through these symptoms because you are ascending, okay? And that comes with nausea, like I said, headaches. Even sometimes, like, <clears throat> something with the throat, something with the throat, you know what I'm saying, throat. And 
another message was conversations a lot of conversations need to be had when you watch this if you know you need to talk to somebody and not beat around the bush really talk to them respectfully then you need to do it okay just so you can wipe your hands clean of it and say i did it i did my part you know what i mean um what else what else um feeling lost feeling like lost you know some of you feel lost in life you know what i mean like what direction what's happening here you know what i'm saying and i'm telling you i sound like a broken record you know what i'm gonna say the uh, when i felt lost when i felt like oh and that's another word i got in the meditation damaged but we'll get to that um when i felt like oh my god i don't i, I don't want to be here anymore um I learned how to meditate. That is when I picked up a tarot deck. And that's when I really start to dig into my spiritual bag and do a lot of research. And um, I, that's when I learned about the universe and I learned about these archangels. And you know what I mean? I just connected with my soul tribe. What's up, T? What's up, Bendy? You know what I mean? I connected with people that love me and love my soul, and we just connect. And I just learned more and more, and I grew in my spirituality. And I made sure I meditated every day, and I drank more water. That was another thing they gave me in the meditation, is water is a big key, y'all. Some people don't meditate. Some people meditate by drinking water. They Now, they cleanse their water first hover and pray and then they bless their water you know what i mean sometimes they'll let their water sit out you know f for 24 hours before drinking their water but it's a it's a kind of sort of meditation for them now meditation comes in all different ways but you gotta try first you know what i mean you gotta try and youtube university might not give you everything but it damn sure gives you a lot okay so i would say start there One more. The bottom of the deck says a joyful, a joyful, a joyful muse. Inspiration. 33. Which is a six. Um, hmm. Give me a second, y'all. I was just about to say, for inspiration, you kind of got to find your own inspiration. Or sometimes the inspiration will come to you. Like, I'm a dancer, right? And when I'm, I don't never look for inspiration. Inspiration pops up on my timeline. So, like, there's a dance group called the Royal Family. I, and then um, Aaliyah Janelle, she's a choreographer. Like, I love them. And they inspire me to get back on the dance floor, you know what I'm saying? And then I start creating ideas, and then I do this, and then I do that. But then sometimes I'll just put my book down, and I won't do nothing. So I'm not really taking action on that. Come 2024, it's not going to be like that for me, you know what I mean? And I don't want it to be like that for you, okay? Um, perfect Storm, the courage to step into life. That's exactly, that's exactly what I was talking about, taking a leap of faith and really taking action. And the number is 44. Four and four is eight, okay? So these could be life path numbers. These could be um, angel numbers. Some of these could be your birthday, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, if it resonates with you, then go with it and stick to the end and listen to all the messages. Cosmic Womb, the Divine Feminine. Number six. Ooh, I love that. Um, all right, let's go straight to the tarot since they said something about it. Spirit, what do you want? Um, what do you want the collective to know? What do you want the collective to know for now to 2024? Hmm, there could be some nurses watching right now because they gave me the word nurse, so there could be some nurses. Yeah, they're giving me, like, you got to learn how to preserve your energy. Instead of arguing and fighting and going back and forth, whether it's in your mind or with somebody, you got to learn how to preserve your energy. And even, um, um, 
Hmm. They're giving me something like mental health. So... Sorry, I'm just trying. I want to. I I, I want to say the right thing. You know what I mean? Um, basically, they're saying like you have to preserve your energy. Some of these things you can't claim, and I I say that in my videos quite often. Like, stop claiming you got this or you got that. And I don't care what a doctor note, what a doctor writes you or a doctor note, what they say you are. If you don't claim it. You won't have it, plain and simple. Because remember, I don't care about a doctor and what a doctor says. Don't get me wrong. I'm not a doctor, and I want you to go see a doctor. But I'm trying to tell you what you give the universe. Oh, my God, I think I'm, I think I'm this. I think I'm that. I think I'm that. The universe will give it right back to you, okay? So you have to understand that I'm very grounded in reality, What's reality is what re is reality, but I also know I create my own reality, okay? Keep pushing for what you want. Spirit, talk to me. Uptown, baby. Uptown, baby. You get around. Where's that coming from? <laughs> Where's that coming from? Um, now, these two cards came out just like this, and this, this to me is telling me, like, Maybe someone is giving up on love. And this is not for everyone. This is why I say stay to the end. Because maybe one message is for you. Maybe ten messages are for you. Who knows? But it came out this, this the nine of wands. And did I not say that earlier before I picked up the cards? That if we get the nine of wands, it'll be a confirmation of keep pushing through. And Spirit is saying a couple of us, one of y'all or a couple of y'all, a lot of us or a few of us is not pushing through. You're giving up on the, on your happiness you're giving up on love you're giving up on um your purpose you know what i mean the ten of cups is about ultimate happiness you know within and without either with people or alone and you're it someone someone or a few of us is giving up on it and spirit is saying don't do that do not claim that whether it's a was a bad breakup a bad relationship Whatever badness with a friend, family, spouse, do not give up on love because source is love. And just because it didn't work out in one area, it doesn't mean it's going to be like this forever or through your 2024. Remember, what is today? The 28th? You, 28, 29. We still got a couple of days before the first, okay? So cry now. Cry it out. Shed what you got to shed. And when the first comes, walk into this new year with a straight back, you know, your head held high with a clean slate, okay? But whatever you do, don't give up. Don't give up on you. Don't give up on me. Don't give up on the collective, okay? Please subscribe and press like and leave a comment, okay? <laughs> I just thought that would be a good time to put that in there. Um... Oh, what did, else did I see? I feel like 2024, somebody needs to check their tires, like the air in their tires. But I am feeling like if you don't get a car, like a new car in 2024, 2025, you're definitely going to get a new car. Okay, so I, it's either going to happen 2024 or 2025. I'm getting Missouri. Now, my, I have a friend named Missouri, but this could, I don't know if you know someone named Missouri or is this the, the place, Missouri? Spirit, talk to me. I'm getting either like an orphan or abandonment or adoption that either you could be adopted or you may be adopted or somebody felt abandoned. I always tell my readers when I do my private readings, I always say that spirit gives like movie, movie answers and, and not saying that they don't mean anything. It's just that some people want to hear like real, like 
stuff they can relate to. But just now when I said that, spirit wants me to relate to you. You're never alone. These deceased loved ones are like, it's like a two-way it's like in the police station. This is a bad example. But you know how they have the, the window and you can look at the lineup? It's like that. Like, they can see us. And some of you can see in. You know, like, I can see in sometimes. And they can see us. You know what I mean? So, even though they're not here in their physical, they're still here in their spirit. You're never alone. Source never leaves you. Your angels never leave you. But they also have ears. So, if you don't open your mouth and call them in, if all your prayers are like this, spirit is like, what? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you need to either write it down or you need to talk out loud. They can hear you. I got a number too. I felt like it was the end of a phone number, like 8267, 8762. It was like a phone number, but it was, the, I don't know what the three numbers was, but it was something like 8762 or 80 or 8268. It was something like that. Or those could be numbers that you need to, to, to look up. You know what I mean? Angels numbers, synchronicities. This is the, this is, 2024 is the year to step out on your faith, step out on trust, step out, and they're showing me the Two of Swords, because the Two of Swords is about making a decision and going with it, because knowing that something better is on the other side, but I call the Two of Swords my petty card, like, I don't want to talk about it, I don't want to hear about it, I'm protecting my heart, I don't want to think about it, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to, so that's why I call it my petty card, but if you think about it for a minute, and if you let your guard down, and if you step out on faith, what, what could really happen? Somebody gonna tell you no? <laughs> think of if you step out on faith and on trust and on that knowing like I'm good what could really happen and look at what's at the bottom of the deck I seriously don't make this up I was laying in my bed talking to my puta okay so I got up because spirit led me to my altar to have this conversation with you so you need to fill out those applications. You need to not give up on whatever you think like you giving up on, you know, whether it's yourself or a job or, a, or, a, or I was going to say a spouse, but again, use your resources. And after that, sometimes you got to remove yourself, you know what I mean? And then some of you got to know when something is over, when a career is over and it's time for you to go into a new direction, you need to get more information. You need to do more um, research. You need to look in another look in another direction. There's always something out there for you, but you you again. I can't I can't make you have this knowing. The knowing lies within you, okay. And now this knowing I have wasn't there all my life. You know what I'm saying? I had to build that muscle up. I had to see all the blessings and give gratitude that source was giving me, that God, my God was giving me. And it, I built this knowing up because God kept saying, look, here, here you go, here you go. You think you're out for the count? You're not out for the count. Here you go, here you go, here you go. Keep blessing me and blessing me and blessing me. Even if it's the smallest blessings and I built that knowing that God is never going to let me fall. He just, he's just not. He's just not. Again, take a leap of faith. I'm getting the, the, the name like Seth or Kenneth. It could be Kenny, but I'm feeling like Kenneth. People are still jumping timelines, and, but I don't think I don't think a lot of you know that you are. Uh, and I I don't know. Give me what what you want to talk about this jumping timelines? 
because they're giving me something like I'm seeing like someone jump the timeline real slow, like in slow motion. So the people who are jumping timelines, they don't know that it's happening to them. But before they, it's like a blink of an eye, you're going to wake up and have a new career. You're going to wake up and have that new car. You're going to wake up and things are going to be better because you jumped a timeline. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm not, I am not into quantum leaping. I don't know anything about jumping a timeline. I could hardly jump double dutch. Okay, so... If I was you, I would do the research, okay? But they are telling me and showing me um, jumping timelines. And luck is luck is on all of our sides. You don't know it. This is why this is why spirit does not want you to give up because the luck is still going to come through, but it'll come in faster if you're taking action and if you stay positive. You know what I mean? When you start to give up and it's woe is me then the, it, it tends to trickle in and get it comes in a little slower. Um, Spirit, talk to me about from now to 2024 for the collective. Um, what is those little pots? Cauldrons? The little pots that like for witchcraft? <laughs> I'm not promoting the yo, but I, cauldron, I think it's called a cauldron. That They're showing me like a little tiny one. Get your herbs in there and they want you to squish up some herbs and stuff like that. Um, and they're showing me the little pine, the, the smoking pine cones. Sorry, y'all. King of Wands, taking action. That's what I told King of Wands. I'm not going to stay on and having strength. They're showing me this, this like a lion or something like this. So there's some Leos out there who's watching. They want you to take charge. Take, have strength and take charge. And invest in something. I don't know. They're giving me investing. Invest in yourself. Okay. Thank you. Knight of Swords. A, a heavy duty conversation. Someone's coming in with a... And that could be a conversation of like... 2024 is going to be a year. Let's let's write down things. Let's prioritize. How are we going to get this party started? How are we going to sell your clothing? How are we going to get... To, like, it could be somebody coming in with a conversation like that. I, I'm feeling like this is a lot of self-talk. A lot of heavy self-talk. Because um, swords are mind cards. So it's almost like... A lot of talk, self-talk I'm getting off of this card. Now, that is not the definition, but I am an intuitive, and that's the energy that I'm getting. A lot of self-talk. And, and that could be good or bad. If you're saying the right things to yourself, then you're good to go. But if you're saying nonsense and if you're claiming nonsense, then that's whack, okay? And if you are in your mind, again, I just now said about the swords card. The eight of swords is about being trapped in your mind because you trapping yourself in, in your mind. Because you're claiming things just because a doctor said you are. You're claiming things because you're confused. You're claiming things because certain things is happening to you. So you're claiming it and, and, and just more downfall is coming on you because you're claiming it. If you just give yourself 30 days of reversing that psychology and not claim it and say positive things and claim only positivity, I guarantee you in 30 days you'll see a change. I guarantee it. Can't tell me that. 30 days. Thirty-eight minutes on the clock. Spirit twenty twenty four for the collective. They are. They just gave me new ideas. So new ideas. And my thing is, so what? We have new ideas every day. Are you going to take action on those new ideas? And like the lovers card came in reverse. This is someone deciding to leave or to go. This is someone deciding they got to leave or they got to go. This is someone deciding. You, I don't care what you decided. This is someone making a decision. Because when you don't make a decision, that is making a decision. Okay? So the two of the, the lovers, the lovers is about making 
a choice, having a choice, making a choice, okay? Making a decision, call it what you want, okay? But when it's in reverse, it's saying you, you, you're you coming to terms with some. On the other hand, I'm just throwing it out there for a few of you. Some of you feel stuck. And that is hindering you from making a decision. And I'm feeling a lot of procrastination. And the f I'm feeling a lot of procrastination off, just off this lover's card alone. But um, the four cups came out like this. So it could be turning upright. Um... Or in reverse, who knows? It came. Th this is like my 50-50 way when it comes out like this. The Four of Cups is about looking at your failures, looking at what happened, being sad about what you could have did, what you should have did, looking at or or looking at what you want and not grabbing it. You know, just looking at it. You know, see how he's just sitting there? He or she just sitting there. Oblivious. Instead of looking at what you got. Sometimes you... What is that saying? I don't want to say the wrong thing. And I don't know the saying. Something about making lemons out of lemonade. <laughs> I ain't even saying it. My thing is sometimes you got to, instead of focusing on the negative, you got to focus on what's around you. That's what the Four of Cups is. And I'm hoping that because it came out sideways is that you are starting to see in 2024, it will be um, maybe reversed. And in 2024, you will really see and be grateful for what is right here. You know, this phone, this TV, this chair, this person. You know what I mean? Source within you, the universe, this candle, like the small things, you know, we just got to be grateful for what we got right now, you know, because when you're grateful for what you got right now, then you're open to receive more in the future. I hope that made sense. 2024 is, they keep giving me like a new start. 2024 is a new start. 2024, you're going to have a lot of options. They, some of it may be illusions too. So that's why when you when you get in front of these opportunities or options, you got to look real close. See the eyebrows? You got to look real close to make sure you pick in the right option or opportunity. Don't take forever, but you got to look real close. You got to examine it, okay? Um, and then sometimes you got to get more information about whatever these opportunities are. Some, and this could be with dating. In 2024, you might say, I'm back on the scene. You know what I'm saying? And you might have options. You may have opportunities to go away and to date and do all that. Be careful. You know what I mean? Take 2024 and make it about you. Don't make it about all these other people and options and shit like that. But if you do, be safe with it. You know what I mean? Look carefully at it. Look real strongly at it. Okay? Get your information Get more information. Some of you are going to be going back to school in 2024. And it could just be for a certificate. Because I think you know it's going to bring you more options and more opportunity, more money. Some of you in 2024 is going to pump up your content. It's going to, uh, uh, your, your platforms, you're going to get more platforms. You might be monetizing in 2024. Because that's what the um, Page of Swords is about. The Page of Swords is about um, getting more information from either a wise person or... <clears throat> or the wisdom within yourself, or you're literally doing research. Page of Swords is also my social media card. So it could be any of those things. But my thing is if spirit is talking through me right now, so if spirit said in 2024, you're going to pump up your content, then what you need to do, pump your content up. You should be doing content at least three times a week, if not every day, doing like a, a, a short. Okay, you could do a short reel or a short on YouTube or 2024, you might start your, your content platforms and stuff like, who knows? You might be a content creator. 
Why not? <laughs> there is so much in life to talk about. Why not? You know what I mean? Um, and then remember I showed you... Remember I showed you the King of Wands and I said they showing me the lion and I'm feeling like you're going to need to have strength and, and it could be spiritual strength, regular strength. I don't care. Strength is whatever, but I love it. The strength card. I don't make, I'm not here just for giggles and laughs, y'all. Seriously. 44 minutes on the clock. What else we got for the collective? If I could get four more, because I do want to do like two more decks. What's happening for 2020? I'm getting like a driving job. A Coria. I think that's what they call the Coria. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I know it's not Caria, but I'm, I'm getting some type of driving job. Um, Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups. This is new love, but it, this could be a love of a new job, a love of a new person, a love of a new thing, person, place, a thing. But spirit is saying, here, we're going to give it to you. You know, we're going to give it to you, but we're not going to, the, the universe is saying, I'm going to give you what you're giving me. <laughs> so you better get, for 2024, y'all better get it right. Y'all better get it right. And we should be, I'm hearing Puda, my pumpkin in my head. I should be journaling. Y'all should be journaling too, every day. Even if it's a sentence a day. Every day we write down, I am beautiful. I am whatever you want to be. I am a music producer. I am the best music producer. I am a great singer. Like we should be doing affirmations or writing or journaling every day. Or just writing somebody or writing yourself a letter. Or writing your deceased sister or mother father, grandpa, whoever, writing them a letter. We shouldn't be, be sitting on our asses. Just, I, I, that's all I'm saying. I'm getting baking. Like, somebody's a really good baker. You could be a professional baker, but I'm just seeing tons and tons of cake. Like, you're a baker. Um, spirit is saying, what you doing with it? Like, do you have your own, do, what are you doing with it? And if you are doing with some, doing something with it, more props to you, but now it's time to level up. <laughs> okay. 2024. That is what you will be doing. I'm getting like a guitar, acoustic guitar. Is that something? That's something, right? There's going to be new relationships in 2024 because we got the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands on the board. So the and these this is and I'm getting a lot of Capricorn vibes right now, Virgo vibes, Aquarius vibes, Sagittarius vibes, Gemini vibes, <laughs> maybe the whole zodiac. I'm getting it's getting a lot of vibes off of here. See the look i i'm the, the three of wands is the universe saying yes 2024 is yours the door is wide open now it's on you to walk through it okay and let me tell you let me give you an example i want to dance again right i had three major sur surgeries done to my body i haven't danced in years um, now I dance around my house. I still got it. I'm never going to lose it because dance is part of my blood. But how, spirit is saying, how long you going to talk about getting this dance? I got a regular resume, but spirit is saying, how long you going to talk to talk about getting this dance resume together? You know how long I've been talking about that for months. All I got to do is write the shit down and give it to my friends so she can put it so she can make me a resume. You know what I mean? Like. And with my, I have 20 years of experience in dance. With my resume, all I got to do is go to any dance studio and ask like, can I work here? You know what I'm saying? So this, the, the, the universe is saying yes to me, but it's about me taking the action and stop procrastinating. So if any of you can resonate with that, then I advise you to take baby steps. My baby steps is just writing down my experience. And the reason I've been lazy with that is because, again, I'm going to tell you, 20 years. <laughs> okay? That's a lot to write down. You know what I'm saying? But how bad do I want it? 
So I'm telling you my personal business, but I know a lot of you can relate to that. Oh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And, you, and because it's a lot of work you got to put behind it, a lot of you shit on it. A lot of you sit on it. And you and the universe is like, okay, you ain't hearing me. So if you want to know, well, what this got to do with the moon and, and, and moon and cancer? The moon and cancer, cancers are very passionate. Cancers are very emotional. Cancers sit in their emotions sometimes. So spirit is saying for 2024, it's really time to one, take action and two, healing. And that should be backwards. First, it should be healing, healing yourself from whatever trauma, abandonment, loss of and now i'm getting like a loss of a baby my condolences but i am getting like loss of a child you know what i'm saying loss of a family member getting starting to heal because now if you can you are still blessed to wake up every day you know what i mean god is saying here's another day just like another second chance here's another day Here's another day. What is your purpose? What are you leaving your kids? You know, I want my daughter in 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 40 years to open up my my manifestation books and like I want her to be like, wow, look what my mom, my mom did magic. You know, my mommy um believed in angels. You know, my mom, you know what I'm saying? I want my kid to look at something. I want to leave something here for her. The sun car, bottom of the deck. Bow. I'm going to end that there with that. Let's do this. Um, angel prayers. I, I, real quick, I got the name like Shawnee. Shawnee. And I got somebody saying it like Shawnee. That's what I heard. I'm just saying. Little sis. I'm hearing like little sis. Little sis. Uh, peace and Harmony, Archangel Raguel. Raguel? I'll be messing up people's name now. Um, thank you, Raguel, for surrounding my life in a harmonious light. I hate that I'm messing that name up, but it is what it is. I think you should, and when I thank the Archangels, I thank all of them. I do ask Archangel Michael to come in to protect the reading, but I ask all the Archangels to come in to protect me with all of their light. So I would advise you to do the same. <clears throat> Please check your cards out or make sure you tell your kid to check their card out or something like the, their car out, like the, with the air and the tires and stuff like that. Uh, manifesting miracles, Archangel Orion, Orion. Thank you, Orion, for manifesting your miracles in my world. I love it. I know there's a glare. I'm sorry, y'all. 52 minutes on the clock. Thank you. Loved one in heaven. Did I not talk about deceased loved ones? Loved ones in heaven. Thank you, loved one in heaven, for drawing close at this time. And a lot of you have, like, a wallet or a watch from, like, from, and and jewelry. They're, they're giving me, like, necklaces, jewelry, watches, wallets from your deceased loved one. Um, and you can still, like, smell their smell their fragrance on them or their cologne or something like that open your heart archangel shamiel thank you shamiel for removing the barriers around my heart and that's exactly what spirit wants you to do remove the crust and the the trauma and remove it so that your heart and you and all your chakras can be open to receive the goodness of 2024 um, green leaf. They want you to be eating more, like, I guess salads, but green, greens, more greens. This is the Rose Iconic Oracle deck. I really don't use this much because I really didn't like it too much, but I haven't used it in a very long time. It's a very small deck. 
and I have to read from it, but I'm not reading a lot. <laughs> and if it's self-explanatory, we don't need to go there. Here we go, Spirit. What do you want them to know from here? Yeah, they're, they're telling me 2024 is the time of travel and move and movement. Like either either you're looking to move, and I say this in all my videos because somebody's always looking to move. So, but 2024 is really about um, taking action on that. And this says jealous, jealous. Um, that is self-explanatory. And it says it right here. Do they have what you think you want? Or are you just stuck in a shameful... In a shameful compare and despair cycle? What is for you will not pass you. So basically, don't be envious of nobody. If you want something, things will come your way. What's for you will be for you. Don't be envious. That's None of, none of y'all are going to watch this video and be like, yeah, I'm jealous. You know what I mean? That's something that you got to... If you, if you are envious or jealous of somebody, that's something that you got to work on within yourself. But just know, nothing's going to pass you that belongs to you. Source is not going to do that to you. You know what I mean? Um, I wanted to get one self-care. Oh, thank you, spirit. Privilege. Privilege. And right there, I'm a, I'm a, what I'm going to leave that on is I'm going to say, it, I'm going to read it. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to read it. But I just feel like if you are privileged, you should know that and you should be grateful. Somebody needs to start a podcast or you're thinking about starting a podcast in some manner. Cause, and the reason I said that is because it turned right to the podcast message. See, this is what I didn't want to do. I don't have time to look for... Um, if you are privileged, you need to just be grateful for whatever you got. You know what I'm saying? And then if you are privileged, you should you should give to others. You really should. All right, we're going to skip that one cuz I I'm not I'm not going to take the time out to look for it. But look, it turned to the podcast one again. Um All right. And I want to get one self-care before it turns to one hour. A lot of you need to be taking spiritual baths and um, spiritual showers. You should be putting a clean, especially this moon. You should have moon water and you should be um, having moon by your bed so that any negative energy... Even if it's no negative energy, you should just have a water, a clean thing of water every day, every night on your altar or by your dresser or right near you at some point. Don't drink it. Just empty it in the morning and just have water right here on your altar, on your dresser. Thank you, spirit. Connect with the earth. Go outside. Take a walk. I don't care how cold it is. Take your shoes off and ground yourself. Go outside your door. If you can't do that, just walk in the park. It's time for you to get go for a ride after you check those tires. And you got to chill with the Chinese food. Some of you got to chill with the Chinese food. Um, build strength. You have to build your strength up. You have your third eye is a muscle. Your chakras are a muscle. So you got to utilize them in order for them to work. Okay. Nourish your temple. Did I not say that they gave me nutrition in the meditation? Nourish. And I just now told you that they want you to eat more salads and leafy greens for 2024. But don't let that start in 2024. You could do that right now, starting tomorrow. Okay, I don't make this up. <laughs> I really don't. Drink tea, black tea, green tea, any kind of tea. You need to drink tea. 59 minutes. I'm going to end this here on this last one, Spirit. Can you give me... Oh, that was two. Thank you, Spirit. Um, This says, read. <laughs> read, whether it's a... um. 
whether it's an audible book or you just reading, you need to do it. <coughs> alone time. And some of you do need alone time with yourself to see what changes you're going to make for 2024. If you want to hit me up for um, a short reading or a long reading, sometimes I do donation-based readings. You can hit me at moondanny1976 at gmail.com. Um, but you got to leave in the comments, emailed, or well, I'll never check that email. Okay, so just leave emailed. And that's all you got to do, okay? Please press subscribe and like and leave a comment. I love you guys. I love you, Puda. Um, and I'm always here. I love you. We all going to get through this together.